Hello my lovely friends, this is Vinod Prabhu and this is your favorite channel 7 Sense Aptitude Prep. Today we are going to look at the third video on idioms and phrases. And we know we learn idioms by grouping them into a particular theme and then having a story for an idiom. Because having a story would mean you will remember what the idiom means. So today's group is on cats. Let us look at the first idiom. idiom. We will have a background story for it and subsequent idioms are based on the same theme of cats. Idiom is the cat caught your tongue. So in the uh, medieval times, when the person used to lie or uh, he would um, probably speak against the religion or God. So it was considered as an insult to God. So what would happen is in Egypt, cats were seen as divine animals. Okay, so many of the pharaoh's tombs also have uh, statues of cats, etc. Uh, in them. So they were considered as divine. So the person's cat, uh, tongue was cut and then fed to the cats as a means of saying sorry to the god. So what happens when this is done? Can that person speak? No. There is another origin of this idiom. There is a whip known as the cat of nine tails okay there is a whip if a person is hit with this whip right it causes him so much pain that he loses the ability to speak he is not able to speak uh, uh, he is in that pain for a long time so one is the cat right cat and a tongue is fed to the cat that is one origin hmm? you can't draw very well the other is this whip whip is this whip in his hand which he uses to uh, hit people on the ship, the people who are pirates or anyone else who were captured. So, in both cases, the person is not able to speak. When the detectives questioned him, he had no response and it was like the cat has got his tongue. Doesn't mean he doesn't know how to talk. It doesn't mean he can't talk. It means he is not in a position to talk. Is at a loss of words. It, it is not a very positive idiom when people say, have, has the cat got your tongue? It means, why can't you talk? What is the matter with you? Hmm? So this is the first idiom in the theme of cats. So we looked at the background story. Actually, there are two stories. One is the cat which is divine. The other is the whip which is known as the cat on nine tails. The next idiom, to put the cat amongst the pigeons. Let us say there are these birds here. Hmm? And they are playfully eating the grains on the ground. If a cat comes near them, what would happen to these pigeons? Would they be calm and continue eating? No, they would just fly away in a commotion. They would get scared and uh, be in a lot of stress. So putting the cat amongst the pigeons, so think this cat amongst the pigeons is to cause some sort of uh, pain or uncertainty or stress in the situation. Huh? So you remember what will happen to the pigeons when they see the cats running towards them. Hmm? If a raid, let us use it in a sentence, if a raid was conducted at an underworld dawn home, so there is there are dawns and there are associates and other dawns. If one dawn there is a police party, there is a raid, what do you think happens to all these other dawns on whom raids have not happened? They would be very, very tense. Okay, they would be very, very tense because they know that okay, it is uh, them who are the next targets. So, this is the second story that you remember. So, cause a disturbance usually intentionally. Okay, so this is uh, a person who causes the cat is not coming in here unintentionally. It is coming in here to either catch the pigeon or just have some fun. So, this it's causing a disturbance or a disruption usually intentionally. Bell the cat. <clears throat> Most of us have heard of this story when we were kids that there is a cat and there are all these rats right there are all these rats it is my favorite way to draw a mouse so there are all these rats and there is a cat that is troubling these mice so all these mice talk to one another okay the best way to escape from the cat is to know when the cat comes nearby and so the way to do it is to tie a bell around the cat and everyone agrees it's an awesome idea and the next question is who is going to do it then no one goes no one comes forward Okay, no one goes to build the cat, no one comes forward. And so the idea is good. Who's going to execute this idea? That becomes the question. So building the cat, remember the story of the mice and the 
cat. If the bell is there, it's good. But who's going to do the difficult work? Hmm? Everyone agreed that the new employee had to work harder. There is a new employee who's not working harder. Everyone agreed that he or she has to put in more effort. But no one wanted to build the cat. No one wanted to look bad and make it uncomfortable upon themselves to tell him or her that oh, you need to work hard. The benefit is got by everyone in this situation, right? If one, this mouse had done it, every mouse would have uh, benefited. If one person tells, everyone would be benefited. But no one wants to do that hard work. No one wants to take on that difficult or impossible task. Bell the cat. Let's look at the next idioms. Let the cat out of the bag. So here you imagine there is a bag. Okay? You can't see inside the bag. And there is a cat inside the bag. So the person who is standing outside doesn't know what is inside the bag. And if this he is asked, he doesn't know. The what is inside the bag is a secret. When you let the cat out of the bag, you are not expecting a cat is there in the bag. right? So even if you ask this guy to guess, he is not able to guess that it's a cat. Once the cat comes out, you know it's no longer a secret. Uh, so, let us see how it is used in a sentence. The team had planned a surprise birthday party. Okay, so you did, there was a secret. The person who was leaving the company after 20 years did not know. So, all of these guys are planning. Everyone knows. But someone puts it in the WhatsApp status. And so, he sees it. Now, the cat is out of the bag. This guy knows that there is a party being planned. The secret is no longer a secret. Reveal a secret. Usually, a, a secret you or others are trying to keep. You want to keep that secret, but it is revealed either by chance or intentionally. There's more than one way to skin a cat. If I tell you there's a pumpkin here, okay, there's a pumpkin here, and there's a correct way to peel that pumpkin, you would laugh at me, right? There's no correct way to peel a pumpkin. You can peel it either this way, you can peel it this way. The, the end result has to be that the pumpkin is peeled. Similarly, uh, I don't want to use the cat's example. If the cat's skin had to be taken off, Okay, I know some of you might not like this energy. The cat skin has to be taken off for some use. There is no one way of skinning the cat. You can skin it in any way as long as the skin that comes out or the peels that come out meet your requirement. This here it is the pumpkin being clean. Here is the skin coming out of the cat. Okay, so what this means is so is there a way to peel a vegetable or skin an animal? No. The professor explained the solution. So the professor explained that this is the way to do this problem. But the student knew there was more than one way to skin a cat. The students know you could always do it in two other ways. This way is not wrong. Similarly, these ways are also not wrong. And to say you can only do it in this way is wrong. There are multiple ways to do it. Multiple ways to accomplish something. So, so friends, this video we have looked at... Uh, as the cat got your tongue, cat got your tongue, which means why are you not speaking or why are you at a loss for words? And you've seen the two stories for it. We have seen cat amongst the pigeons, which is to cause disturbance or fear, mostly due to intentional actions. Also looked at Bell the cat, which stands for who is going to do the difficult task. We have also looked at uh, Letting the cat out of the bag, which is to reveal the secret. And then we finally looked at, there is no one way to skin a cat, which is there are multiple ways to do something. So we've seen the five commonly asked idioms on cats. And if you like this video, please click the thumbs up button. Please subscribe to our channel. Share this channel. Share this video with everyone that you know. And uh, please visit us regularly. Leave us your comments if you need more uh, uh, idioms to be explained, more idioms for which the origin of the idioms has to be discussed with you. Please leave that in the comment section and we will uh, do our best to give you that information. And if you need more help, please visit our website www.sensenstyle.com, sign up login there and uh, close to 50,000 students use it on a daily basis. Be one of them and uh, achieve success. Thank you so much for uh, being with us once again. This is Vinod Prabhu and the rest of the team at 7 cents saying thank you. Bye-bye.